Connor and I am School Travel Plan Stroke Healthy Schools Coordinator um, and I lead the um, hiring of the bikes and scooters. Uh, hi, I'm Mr Evans. Um, I was involved with the scooter and cycle hire scheme last year. I helped set it up um, into what the success it is now. Now I've passed it on to these two capable children and <laughs> capable teachers. Hi, I'm Miss Gibson and I'm just helping out hiring this year, first time, so it's, yeah, and just helping the children and getting sure that they know how to do it. Hi, I'm Aaron and I'm from Azure Town Primary School. I'm Sophie and I'm from Wiseman Town. Um, I've been doing it from year five, so a year now, um, for a couple of weeks. Yes, we did involve police police officer called um, PC Shake. Also, he came in and he gave us like an introduction about how to be safe on the on the uh, pavement and road with your bikes and scooters. Always wear a helmet, a high risk jacket, and then well, like locking your bike. Always carry a lock with you. And he also explained how, how, what the condition of the bike should be, the tyre should be um, working, the chain shouldn't be rusty, and the, and you should always have a bell. And a, and if you ride your bike in the night, then you should have a, a pair of lights, a, 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 um, a light for the back and a light for the front. Um, people know about it and then at the beginning of this year for the new reception for children um, it went out on the newsletter again, it was a big spread on the newsletter. We do sometimes like new friends that come in and make friends with them and otherwise if we don't probably on the in the first or second week they will find out about it and it would come on the newsletter. to ride for the week. Um, so that they can if they don't have a scooter or a bike, they can ride um, for a week and bring them back next Monday. Um, we get scooters out and lay them out on against the walls for parents to come and leave. Like look at them and see what height or what ability they have. Their children have to go on one of the scooters, and then we we tell them to give a deposit and a what and a donation, and then it's we we start on a Monday, and then the next Monday they have to return it, and if they would like it for another week, then they pay another pound. And when they finish, they would get their deposit back, which is their five pounds. We would ask you to sign like letters and write okay. the child's name and their class. Okay. Not difficulties like they're angry with the scooters, but only colours, yeah. the colours and the like what language the parents speak. And so most of us speak different languages, so we know what they're speaking so you know, like arguments about the scooters No, no, no oh, well, nothing that hasn't just needed a quick tightening, a screw here or a, you know, a pump there We had an incident actually last week and she just bought it back straight away and then so she was given another bike in once, when we, we did sort of once a term, you know, that's what sort of the money that the donations that we get that goes towards sort of the maintenance and the upkeep. And then once a term, we get them looked at, um, or you know, we keep an eye on them ourselves to make sure they're okay. But then they go back to the shop where we got them from once a term to be sort of made sure they're all okay.
we changed the sheets so that all the bikes and um, the scooters were on one sheet and the bikes were on the other sheet. And it's a lot easier? <laughs> well, people like them scooters. Weekly newsletters, like advertising the weekly newsletters or and you know, we like text messages on the website and the posters as think and the children will definitely go and tell their parents because they would know what what's it all about and then they would hire it. And it's only um, make sure the fees isn't very big and it should just be a small donation and deposit. Try to look a bit like odd, try to look visible, very visible to them to see what's that and make it attract them to your store, make it colourful, make it have a big banner and everything. And so they would think, what's that table in the middle of the playground? And they would go to it and have a look.